What if there were a place that attracted the best minds in science and technology? A place that said yes to the human spirit and encouraged those minds to pursue their wildest ideas, to think the impossible, to ask, what if? At the University of Arizona, innovation is a tradition. For more than 100 years, scientists have been thinking the impossible and coming up with breakthrough questions that make the world a better place. In the fall of 1996, Brad Cochran, a former student of Dr. Hinshan Chen, founder of the U of A's Artificial Intelligence Lab, had a brilliant idea. Cochran, a sergeant with 23 years on the force of the Tucson Police Department, realized that Dr. Chen's digital library technology could be used to solve crimes. Chen loved the idea. Coplink, the world's first web-based crime-fighting tool, has given police departments across the country the brainpower of a thousand Sherlock Holmes, allowing them to analyze millions of clues and track down criminals in seconds. Coplink was a real meeting of the minds. We brought the law enforcement expertise, the University of Arizona brought the technical expertise, and that's what makes Coplink work. The developer of Coplink, Dr. Hinshan Chen, is working on new applications that detect encoding, false identities, and phony social media entries. A prototype, Dark Web, is already being used to detect hidden terrorist communities. Coplink was one of the University of Arizona's most successful transactions. It was recently sold to IBM for more than a half a billion dollars. How do you feel about passing through this checkpoint? Other management information system experts at the U of A are keeping people safe by applying what they've learned about group dynamics and deceptive Safety behavior. For training officers to Developed in 1983 by Dr. Jay Nunnemaker, Think Tank, the world's first bundled collaboration technology, helps leaders access powerful group intelligence to solve global problems. Nunnemaker's latest innovation Avatar is a rapid security screening technology that uncovers the smallest signs of deception, analyzing body language and linguistic patterns to protect people in public places and get them through security quickly. Products like Coplink, Avatar, and Think Tank make the world safer. They make the world better by providing clean, well-paying jobs. The U of A has long been at the forefront of medical innovations, with breakthroughs in cardiology, pathology, integrative medicine, and orthopedics. In 1973, a week after orthopedic surgeon Dr. Robert Voles joined the U of A, he was presented with a unique challenge. One of the first patients I encountered was a piano player who had fallen off a roof and sustained this terrible fracture dislocation of the wrist. This totally precluded the patient from any type of activity as a pianist. Up until then, no one had ever attempted to design a replacement wrist, but Dr. Vols thought he could, and he did. Today, Dr. John Sivik, director of the orthopedic research lab founded by Dr. Vols, has gone from engineering artificial joints to regenerating tissue. His pioneering approach uses stem cells harvested from our own fat deposits to regenerate cartilage. Civic believes that tissue engineering will supplant joint replacement within a few years. One of the advantages of using cartilage regeneration instead of total joint replacement is that the patient will feel the end product is uh, much more comfortable and much more natural. The U of A is also leading the way in evolutionary biology, exploring ways to increase biodiversity. Oh, this is pretty nice. An evolutionary biologist, Rod Wing maps rice and corn genomes so that in 30 or 40 years, when nine billion of us share the planet, the human race can feed itself. 
Wing's international effort is called Rice 2020 Bold Challenge. We're essentially working on the establishment of what we call a green super rice, where green means more environmentally friendly, which would mean less water, less pesticides, less land, and less fertilizer. And the super rice, meaning two to three times the amount of yield that we currently have for cultivated rice. On a field trip 20 years ago, Dr. Michael Rosenzweig had a startling revelation. To protect other species from extinction, we need to share our living spaces, our cities, farms, and ranches. This is the basis of his new science, reconciliation ecology. You know, if we really want to save biodiversity in this world, we've got to learn how to replace our soccer boots with ballet slippers to change the footprint of human society on the land. And it turns out that southern Arizona, with its vast number of species, is a perfect place for people to learn how to thrive together with wild native populations. Rosenzweig's laboratory is on the west side of Tucson on Tumamac Hill. It's the site of the world's first ecology restoration project, begun in 1906. It's not just ecologists at the U of A who are sustaining life on Earth. Astronomers are, too. Today, Dr. Roger Angel, the man behind the largest telescope mirrors in the world, including the two 27-foot mirrors of the Large Binocular Telescope, is using his mirror technology to do more than explore space. He's developing alternative energy on a scale larger than most of us can imagine. So what got me into this was I really started worrying about climate change and what uh, we can do about it. We have to make solar electricity be no more expensive than fossil fuel electricity, and then it will get really widely adopted. In 2009, Dr. Roger Angel founded Renew Inc. to produce affordable solar electricity without any carbon emissions. I think one of the, the main things that we can do as a community is focus on our two best resources in Southern Arizona. That's our sunshine and our university. In 1906, groundbreaking astronomer Dr. Andrew Douglas joined the U of A. Like Dr. Angel a century later, Douglas also looked to the sun, not for energy, but for answers about climatic events on Earth. While delving into the connection between weather on Earth and activity on the sun, Dr. Douglas had the eyebrow-raising idea to look for evidence of this relationship in tree ring records, founding the new science of dendrochronology in 1910. In the 1950s, further evidence of this relationship was discovered in bristlecone pines that took the climate record of the Southwest back 9,000 years. Today, dendrochronology helps us date past events, as well as anticipate climate changes and the effects they'll have on our forests. Tree rings are useful for all sorts of things, including the study of past forest ecosystems, and we study forest fires to help managers learn how to prevent wildfires like the Wallow Fire that cost millions of dollars of taxpayer money. We're trying to prevent these types of events in the future. In the Southwest, dendrochronologists are helping municipalities manage water supplies. The results of our University of Arizona tree ring lab research showed us that droughts can be much worse than we had anticipated, and the Salt River Project modified its reservoir operations to account for that. U of A researchers in engineering and optics laboratories are designing next generation technologies that reduce our carbon footprint and let us travel at phenomenal speeds. Dr. Erica Corral and her students lead the way with nano-engineered ceramics and composites designed to withstand temperatures no other materials on the planet can. Hypersonic vehicles have already been designed. All they're waiting for are high temperature resistant materials that we are working on in my lab. Dr. Corral's next generation materials will enable hypersonic aircraft to take the heat of extreme environments and travel at 20 times the speed of sound using less fuel.
In the College of Optical Sciences, Dr. Nasser Pegambarian is set to reduce our carbon footprint via holography that has the potential to revolutionize collaborative medicine. Imagine a surgeon performing an organ transplant thousands of miles away. So the technology we are uh, creating would allow us to uh, project people in 3D from one side of the planet to the other side of the planet. Uh, this is where the science fiction meets reality. It's a new reality, where science stops crimes, feeds a planet of nine billion, wins the intelligence war, reduces our carbon footprint, predicts wildfires, and manages resources. We have to start dreaming that what has been looked at as impossible is actually quite practical and can be done with real research. For more than 100 years, scientists at the U of A have been thinking the impossible, asking breakthrough questions, and solving mankind's greatest challenges. The best minds in science and technology don't only think the impossible, they do the impossible. Imagine what's on the horizon for the next 100 years.